So the Spongebob Halloween special just aired and I watched it. Not really much of an intro needed here. We can just get right into it. Hey! This title card reminds me of some Spongebob browser game with the music. It was some browser game I played as a kid. It might, it was probably a Halloween one. I just so distinctly remember this music. I don't know, the title card itself is pretty good. I like how it looks. Not on my watch. <laughs> Mailman! <laughs> Stuff is just happening. I wanted to note down some things that's going on, but I think stuff is happening is an accurate description. Squidward gasses out his family or something, and then blinds the mailman, and then modern SpongeBob starts being modern SpongeBob. SpongeBob? What are you doing in my garbage? Spring cleaning! But Squidward. Is it just me or is the animation moving kind of slow? And that's not meaning they tone down the expressiveness, it more feels like I'm watching a modern episode on like 80% speed or something. I don't know, it was a while since I watched anything past like season 6, so I might not be used to <laughs> modern SpongeBob as much as I am usually. I have been getting that creepy guy's mail by mistake for years! <gasps> Squidward, look! Bleeder's Digest! Bat Fancy! Blood of the Month Club! Squidward gets Nosferatu's mail by mistake, and now he and SpongeBob gotta go give it... Oh, give it to him. You remember Nosferatu? The one-off gag that can turn into a minor character in season 11, and... Now is a driving plot point in season 13. That feels necessary. Nosferatu! Yeah! Uh, uh, what was that? Stop looking at me! <laughs> Gotta give it to this episode. This looks freaking amazing. It feels like I'm watching the Patrick Star show because this change in art style is by far the best thing so far. The visuals are what's keeping me interested here, and the two are getting a ride to the castle by this really creepy looking guy. Speaking of the Patrick Star Show, this whole going to the castle plot reminds me a lot of the Patrick Star Show episode where Patrick and Squidina went trick or treating to. what is it called? Dr. Plankenstein? Dr. Plankenstein's castle? Not saying it's a ripoff or anything, but that was the last Halloween special in the SpongeBob universe, and now they are doing kind of the same thing again. Also, I can't even remember the last Krusty Krab episode in this show. Not counting food pfft, truck. Oh Jesus, I just spit. It was literally like 20, e 20 episodes ago an episode had anything to do with Krabby Patties. Might even not even have been this season because, what, a place for pets? That wasn't really about Krabby Patties. At least it's not... I think that's better than what they did in like season 8 with like 20... <laughs> Krusty Krab episodes out of 40? Wait, it's like 52. Still, there was a lot of Krabby, Krusty, Krabby Patty, Krusty Krab episodes back then, and now they've kind of just stopped doing them. <laughs> it's just weird. Back to the episode I'm supposed to actually be talking about. I, I don't know. Nosferatu does like free poses, and then Slappy from the Patrick Star Show comes out of his clothes, and yeah. Nosferatu has been on screen for like one minute max and he is already overexposed. Let me remind y'all that Graveyard Shift is an episode and that it was a great episode with a one-off gag with Nosferatu. Imagine if that entire episode was about him and they showed him for minutes and minutes would probably not be as good. Graveyard Shift is a top 3 episode of the whole show for me though. So I can't really compare them here fairly. Let's just continue and give Squid Ferratu a chance. <laughs> a 
Modern SpongeBob stuff happens, and it feels like I'm watching a show for infants that have not even been born yet. SpongeBob acts like one as well. Oh, I don't want to leave. Boo! <laughs> Punch him again, please. It's literally just random humor. It's past random humor, actually. It's not even humor at this point. They sit down at the dinner table and Slappy presents some gross food and spiders that Slappy is going to eat. Slappy is creepy, I'll give them that. But Nosferatu is just so goofy at this point. He scared the shit out of me in the graveyard shift, but that was because he was executed so greatly there. Here he is just like, he's just here. Spongebob does a meme face, and Nosferatu continues to not be scary at all. The master says, sleep tight and don't let the vampire bats bite. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Jesus Christ, just stop making sounds for no reason. It's not funny at all, bro. I'm, I'm just getting tired. It's... It's kind of funny how unfunny this is, actually. The castle looks great, though. I, I'm just gonna have to like keep searching for positives. The, the visuals are, are pretty great. Mm. Mm. Whoops! Forgot to floss! Huh? <laughs> forgot to wash my head! Huh? <laughs> This scene, though, is ripped straight off from Planet of the Jellyfish. Is it Invasion of the Jellyfish? Planet of... No, it's Planet of the Jellyfish. With, like, the jellyfish behind Spongebob at the couch. Except there, it was actually really creepy. Sleepy, sleepy. Let's try these doors. <laughs> Oh look, it's the scene from Spongebob in Random Land. How great that I can point out stuff reused from like five other episodes. That's a sign of an original episode if you ask me. Squidward slaps Spongebob, which is a top tier moment in this episode. Please don't eat us! <sighs> the master is not hungry, he just had a big lunch. He wanted to return your mail. Oh, well, how thoughtful of you. Uh, thanks. And look, they were never in any danger. Who would have guessed they would pull a twist like that? At least in Toy Story of Doom, them not being in danger was played as a joke. <laughs> well, if you're not flicking the lights on and off, then who is? I don't even know, I should have just watched Graveyard Shift instead, huh? There is a companion episode that aired next to Squid Ferratu, just like Housewarming had that short with the worm, except here we have an almost 8 minute episode focused on Slappy. Not even gonna get into that they are doing the whole bringing spin-off characters into the main show to try and make the spin-offs feel more canon thing all over again. All I would say uh, is, at least with Slappy, he appeared in the main show first, all the way back in Birthday Blowout, so it's not as insulting as Narlene and Nobby. Is she called Arlene or Narlene? No, of course it's, she's called Narlene, that's a joke because she's a narwhal. <laughs> uh, this short episode is nothing special. It's Slappy doing random weird stuff for 7 minutes. He meets his girlfriend from the Patrick Star show and sh she kisses Gary. Okay. This joke is only here to force Spongebob being in the episode because kids will literally die if they watch a Spongebob episode without Spongebob actually appearing in it. This goes for the Patrick Star show as well. I wish as much time was spent on writing actual jokes as 
time spent on writing contrived scenarios to show Spongebob for five seconds in episodes that have nothing to do with him. Seriously, like, there is no reason for Spongebob being in this episode. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so... Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm having a mental breakdown here. So, all in all, I was, I was disappointed. I, I would say I was disappointed, but I didn't expect anything with the episode title, Squid Ferratu, because bringing back Nosferatu is a terrible idea from the start. He, he was a one-off gag 20 years ago, and he was, he was hilarious back then, it was creepy, it was fitting for a Halloween episode, and now they're bringing him back to do an entire like 14-minute episode centered around him to, I don't know, milk old content. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, this episode, this episode is not good. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.